Hey again everyone, I'm Kai Down from ML Sound Lab. Today I'm going to be running through setting up and troubleshooting ML drums in all of the most popular doors. Before I get into the specifics of the troubleshooting, we need to first check that ML Drums is compatible with your system. If you're on Windows, you'll need to be running Windows 10 or higher. And if you're on Mac, you'll need to be running Mac OS 10.15 or higher. Unfortunately, ML Drums is not compatible with Chromebooks, mobile devices, and tablets at this time. When you download ML Drums free from our website, you'll be presented with a zip file containing all of the relevant installers. Run the file that's relevant to your machine and it should place the plugin files into the correct directories. It's smart to double check that this has all been installed correctly before proceeding to set it up in your door. On Windows, this will be located in Program Files, Common Files, VST3. On Mac, there's a few different locations it will be installed to, so I'll pop them up on the screen here. The last thing I want to mention that's not specific to any particular door is the MIDI tab of ML Drums. If you find that the MIDI notes aren't triggering properly, navigate to the MIDI tab in ML Drums. Then for each kit piece, hit the MIDI Learn button followed by the relevant piece on your kit. Do this for all of the kit pieces that you wish to assign and then save it as a preset. Now let's get to setting up ML drums in each of these different doors. They'll all be timestamped for you, so check the description box below. First up, let's get it set up in Ableton Live. First, you want to head to the Preferences tab, and then under MIDI, ensure that your device has been enabled here. Once you've done that, insert a new MIDI track and add an instance of ML drums using this sidebar. If you can't find ML drums here, head to Preferences and then Plugins and enable VST support here. From there, we're going to head to the Mixer tab. Using Command T or Control T on PC, we're going to create eight new tracks. Then we're going to name them using Command R, Kick, Snare, Toms, Hi Hat. Ride, Overhead, Room, and Reverb. Select all of these tracks and change the audio from to ML Drums. From there, change the monitor to In. Now deselect these tracks by clicking on another track. Select through each one of these, and where it says Post Mixer, hit the relevant kit piece below it. So we're going to assign Kick to Kick, Change this one to snare, tom, hi-hat, ride, overhead, room, and finally reverb. Click the number on the main track to mute it, unless you're using it for a parallel compression. Now you'll see that whenever I play through this kit, it's coming through each of the channels. Next up, we're going to set it up in Logic Pro. Firstly, to enable your controller in Logic Pro, head to Settings, MIDI, Inputs, and then ensure that your device has been enabled here. Now we're going to want to create a new software instrument track. Add the instrument here as ML Drums, select Multi Output 9 Stereo, and then rename it ML Drums. If ML Drums doesn't show up at this point, you're going to want to head to the Settings, Plugin Manager, and then reset and rescan selection. Once we've got ML Drums set up in our session, we can hit the X key to bring up the Mixer tab and then hit this plus button eight times. These will be our channels for the multi-out of ML Drums, so we'll name them Kick, Snare, Tom, Hi-Hat, Ride, Overhead, Room, and finally Reverb. Now all you have to do is mute the main instrument track unless you're using it for parallel compression, and you should see that as I play through these drums, it comes through each of the channels. So 
So that's it for Logic Pro. Next up, we've got GarageBand. Since GarageBand doesn't support multi-output routing, it's fairly easy to set up. Just select Software Instrument here, and then under Plugins, hit this drop-down arrow and select ML Drums. If your MIDI controller isn't working at this point, head to Settings, followed by Audio slash MIDI, and select your MIDI controller to be the one that's plugged in. Now we're going to take a quick look at setting it up in Reaper. Reaper is one of the easiest doors to set up for this multi-output routing, and I'll show you why in just a second. First, you're going to want to set up your MIDI controller. Head to the Preferences tab, and then under Audio, MIDI Devices, ensure that your device has been enabled right here. Now we're going to want to right-click on the Tracks window, hit Insert Virtual Instrument on New Track, search in for ML Drums, and double-click it here. This pop-up right here is what makes Reaper one of the fastest doors to set up. Just click the yes button and it will automatically route all of your channels and name them accordingly. Just mute the main output unless you're using it for parallel compression and you should be good to go. If ML Drums doesn't show up in your plugin list, head to the preferences tab and then under plugins VST, hit the rescan button here. Next up, I'm going to show you how to set it up in Studio One. For Studio One, the first thing you want to do is set up your MIDI controller. Head to the preferences tab and then under external devices, select add, hit new keyboard, name it accordingly, and then set the receive from to be your MIDI controller. Hit OK, and then you can close out of this. Now in Studio One, there's two different ways you can set up the ML Drums instrument. First thing you can do is you can add a new instrument track, open up the mixer tab, and then under instruments, hit add, and then search for ML Drums. Then you've got to set the output of the instrument track you just created to be ML Drums. The second way to do this one is much easier. You just head to the Instruments tab under the Browse page, locate ML Drums and drag and drop it straight onto your session. I find this way to be much faster as it does all of the routing with your MIDI controller automatically. Setting up the multi-output routing in Studio One is super simple. Just navigate to the Instruments tab here and then under ML Drums, right click it and select Expand. Click all of the available outputs, and it will pre-route them and name them accordingly. Then all you have to do is mute the main channel if you're not using it for parallel compression, and you should be good to go. If you can't find ML Drums in your plugin list, select the View tab at the top here, navigate to Plugin Manager, and then select Update Plugin List. Next, I'm going to show you how to set up ML Drums in Cubase. Once you're in Cubase, navigate to Studio, Studio Setup, then under MIDI Port Setup, ensure that you've got your MIDI device enabled here. Click OK and then close out of that. To set up ML Drums in Cubase, right-click the Tracks window, select Add Instrument Track, and then under the Instrument drop-down here, select ML Drums. Name it ML Drums, and then you can close out of that. For the multi-output routing, click on ML Drums in the Inspector tab, and then right here where it says Activate Outputs, click this box, then select All Outputs, and you can close out of that. They should already be pre-routed in your door, so just pull up the mixer window with F3, and you'll see they're all named here. Now you just need to mute the main channel unless you're using it for parallel compression, and everything should be set up and ready to go. If you can't find ML Drums in Cubase, navigate to Studio, VST Plugin Manager, and then hit the small refresh icon to rescan for plugins. Finally, we've got Pro Tools. To set up your MIDI controller in Pro Tools, head to the Setup menu up here, click Peripherals, set the type to be M Audio Keyboard, and then set the Receive From and Send To to be your MIDI controller. Click OK and close out of that. Next up, we need to add the tracks to our session. So we'll hit Command, Shift, and N, and it'll bring up this new track window. We need to create a stereo master fader track. We need to create a stereo instrument track. And we also need to create eight stereo aux tracks. Now we're going to rename these as follows. Name the instrument track ML Drums. Hit Next, Kick, 
the snare, toms, hi-hat, ride, overhead, room, and finally reverb. Now we're going to pull up the mixer window with command and equals. Let's drag that out so we can see it. On the inserts of the instrument track we created, we're going to add ML Drums as a multi-channel plugin. To route the multi-outputs for each of the channels we created, we need to set the input here to be plugin, ML Drums, followed by the relevant kit piece. So we'll set kick, snare, toms, hi-hat, ride, overhead, room, and reverb. Now you'll see that each of the kit pieces come through the channels we've created. So there we go, that's all of the main troubleshooting issues covered in each of the most popular doors. If there's anything else I missed at all, or if there's any more tutorials you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section below and we'll get to it in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys found this one helpful.